I consider Friday that kickoff to the weekend, even though sometimes work gets in the way, but we saw daytime highs in the 70s today, mid 70s here at Jacksonville. Currently, we're in the upper 50s to the lower 60s, and this was recorded right around, what time is it? About 8.45 or so. So a pleasant evening after we saw that variable cloud cover for today. The next big change, we'll still see some of that variable cloud cover, but the next big change comes in late Sunday night. Spotty showers giving way to rain, even some storms here on Monday, most of which looks like it's going to ramp up throughout the afternoon, especially southeast Georgia late morning, and here we are at 1 o'clock, and then dissipating in southeast Georgia while northeast Florida will start it, yeah, just in time for the 5 o'clock ride home. Isolate strong to severe storms will be possible with the rain tapering off at around sunrise on Tuesday. Pine, cedar, oak, maple, alder, juniper, pretty much name anything with a needle or a leaf and it's trying to get you to sneeze right now. 7.9 on the scale and the numbers will continue to climb. The numbers were so high today that even my kitty cats were sneezing. So how do you say uh, gesundheit in cat talk? Sunday a little bit warmer, 80 degrees. Monday it's still in the upper 70s because we'll have that delayed start here for the showers and the storms. The windiest day comes through on Monday, although still breezy on Tuesday. It's going to be cool and breezy with temperatures the coolest morning for the start of Valentine's Day. Mother Nature giving us a reason to cuddle on Wednesday as seasonal temperatures continue through the work week. Your weather authority forecast is always a click away at News for Jacks, a shot away on your favorite devices.